Mm. Hello. Uh, I was talking with one of you on Facebook recently. And so we talked about that uh, my videos are starting to show you guys something that weren't shown before. So today we'll be talking about uh, rotors assembly because this is crucial if anybody wants to do a rotor assembly in RX-8. We have some example uh, side seals and today we will be talking about this as uh, video title says. Uh, let me just take a few things from my bucket and uh, see you guys in a second. So let me also just clean it up a little for me not to get more dirty than I am today. And you might think to yourself, uh, hey, uh, hey, I just recently saw a video of somebody measuring the side seals in Rotary engine. Yeah, but uh, the Renesis engines are specific. Um, and you probably saw the videos where somebody put it corner seals. Hmm. Yeah. This rotor has two broken grooves. And probably you saw somebody just putting corner seals. Putting spring again, this needs to be put it in a specific way when we assemble our engine and just drop and just drop the side seal and down. Um, oh, this one is broken, another one, and just drop the side seal. Yeah, and just measure it uh, like so. This is valid in another rotary engines and not Renesis because uh, usually the seals are square all around. These are square, but in this engine, as we might see, or I will post a picture close up. These engines are not made this way, they needed to be thicker in one way and smaller inside of the groove. So, we actually can use filler gauges for this 15 millimeter filler gauge, uh, I mean, oh, 15 millimeter or we can buy all 15 millimeter or exec uh, or accordingly in imperial measures the little uh, steel um, sheet metal as so this is not proper o15 but i bought one the other day from Aliexpress, I think it was one box or something. It was pretty little money for not using filler gauge. And our, our filler gauge or sheet metal needs to be on the outside. So our seal will actually stick into the inner walls or seal. Of course, it is better to put it on the one side of the rotor, so we have maximum clearance on the one side and we don't have on the other. And now we basically measure it from the side. What happens when we have not enough clearance, as we can see? I'm using O15s again. And I cannot put it beside our uh, side seal and corner seal. Basically, we could uh, take O10 and O5 for 
testing if we didn't just put it it closely to the one side but uh, either way this is not fitting to my display router so what we should do with seal like so like this we have specific way that our seal is connecting to another seal our side seal is connecting to our corner seal and we basically need to grind this seal against sandpaper or against some uh, rock with many with uh, getting that angle also to line up mm, uh, i am not aware if uh, actually putting it pretty much aside in pretty much the best possible angle is good for the seal because Mazda is giving it a little more um, a little more shape it is not more flat it is more um, as you call it I don't remember either way it this seal is cut it more in this way not more flat so it is not thinner oh, yeah, sorry it is not thinner on the outside and won't burn as easily at least that's what i am thinking but we cannot also make it straight from our seal just grind it as so we need to maneuver and get some angle from grinding and you might be thinking this is a lot of thing to do why not mazda cannot do uh, seals that are cut to fit Mazda actually did that in renaissance engine and uh, as so we don't have a specification uh, what should be actually the gap between the corner and side seal in Renesis engine and we have as we can see there are samples that show us the groove length of specific seal we buy from Mazda we can buy seals by this groove and basically just put them on but we know for sure uh, as for I think four or uh, five letters mm, Mazda give us the same size seal the, the groove in here will be different only thing Mazda specifies about side seals to be replaced is to actually when we extend our old four millimeter gap in here and that's it um i know the previous engines have uh, had that um 005 to 015 millimeters of gap and to be honest this might be for turbo engines and renesis engines don't don't get us excuse me and uh, NA engines in uh, RX-8 don't uh, shouldn't get as hot and because you might ask why we just have this gap because the metal expands during the heat up and as the metal expands it can actually just get into one and second seal and just bend it that's why the proper gap is valid is very crucial for uh, long longevity of these engines and to be honest i've put it my engine uh, first engine that you see on my first video every side seal is 015 millimeters of pick of uh, gap i think it is within five no, no five, two hundreds of millimeters difference between one and the other, but I'm not, but I think there is none of it. 
Either way, um, yeah, so we basically have uh, four type seals right now in new uh, Mazda papers that uh, were on the internet. We don't have the longer grooves, so the Mazda removed that seal that people bought just the longer seals just to be cut it by themselves. Mm. And yeah, uh, the side seals in Rune's engine also just uh, extend this gap uh, the further they run as they are um, exposed to heat from the side port of exhaust. And that is why we measured basically them by length, not by uh, how big they are. And I think this is all you should know to assemble your Atari engine. So, yeah. Remember, if you like it, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, consider giving it a thumbs down. And consider subscribing if you like content like this. And just remember, as always, nice day.